Hi everyone, it's Mary Elizabeth, and today I wanna to help you learn how to clean a fabric with a cleaning code W. That's right. Fabric manufacturers give us universal cleaning codes for the fabrics that we buy and put on our furniture. And today we're gonna to focus on how to clean a fabric that has the cleaning code W specifically, all right? And I've got an example of one of those fabrics right here. This happens to be a really great base cloth and I'm going to show you up close there. If you can see that, that's got a lot of texture to it. The fabric content on this is actually polyester, cotton, poly, and viscose. So you have quite a bit of ingredients in this particular fabric and this would be some an example of something that would be very popular in upholstered furniture today, okay? It's going to be easy to clean and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, uh, I had a call this week from a friend of mine, her son, Got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on her sofa. And so today we're going to clean some grape jelly off of this fabric. I've got a little grape jelly right here to use, which will be fun. So let's see, let's just take a little bit of the fabric. Let's put some grape jelly, squeeze some out right there. I hate doing that, ah, but we got it. Okay, grape jelly on, an, on a sofa. Totally typical, it happens. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take something, not the, not the serrated edge of the knife, but actually the other edge, and I'm going to try to lift up as much as possible, okay, off of that fabric. So you can kind of see right there, we've got some great jelly left on it, and the cleaning code W tells me that I need to use white soap and water. And when I see the cleaning code W, I typically remember the three W's. I use white soap, water, and a white washcloth. And I think this is very important and I'm gonna show exactly why. Um, okay, so first we've taken off that top layer. And then second, I've got a white washcloth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use cold water specifically cold water, and as quickly as possible, I'm gonna just wring out all the excess. I want to try and blot off any of that excess that I can. And I'm not going to rub into the fabric because I certainly don't wanna push that fabric, that jelly into the fabric anymore. So I'm kind of almost like I'm just gonna pick up as much as I can, okay, and see we've got a little bit of oil stain there, it looks like left. So we're gonna need to work on that for just a minute together. All right, so I've got my white washcloth and I have a white bar of soap. Now, why do you think it's really important to use white? Because let's say you've got a green or a fancy bar of soap that has a fragrance in it. All you're doing is you're putting that fragrance onto the fabric. And then if it's a color, if it's a colored soap, those luxury soaps sometimes they have colors to them, you're adding a color of dye into your fabric and you certainly don't wanna do that, okay? So we wanna to try to get out all of this grape jelly and we wanna do it without adding anything to the fabric. All right, so that's why I've got my white washcloth. And what I wanna do is I just wanna get some soap and I wanna make sure to get a lot of nice soap on my washcloth here. And this part is very important. You're going to blot the fabric. You're not going to scrub. We certainly don't want to damage the fabric or the threads as we go through. And as I blot, I'm not just gonna blot that one small spot. I'm actually gonna blot a little bit further out and make sort of a nice transition from the color of the grape jelly to the other parts of the fabric. Okay, so I can see I've got a little grape on there. I wanna go and clean my washcloth and make sure it is totally white. All right, again, using cold water. We definitely wanna make sure we're using cold water. Okay, and we're back to blotting. Now, you can add a little bit of pressure to that blotting when you get most of the jelly out or most of what it, whatever it is that you've got in there, you've got out. And this is going to clean up beautifully, spectacular, okay? And notice we're not really using anything but water, white soap, and a little bit of elbow grease just to get this out. Okay, now you can see it is damp. You see that it's wet but it is coming out and it looks fantastic, fantastic. It looks brand new. So this is an easy clean fabric, a great way to clean, it looks phenomenal. As soon as that dries, and that is gonna air dry, and I'm just gonna keep repeating exactly what I've been doing over and over again, get the white soap, 
and I'm going to make sure to blot this area. Keep going. It is going to clean up really nicely. You will not even notice that it is there. Okay, so we've got, we've got most of it out here, it looks like. Okay, and then I'm gonna make sure when I go back for the last round of blotting that I don't have any soap on my washcloth. I'm gonna make sure that it's only cold water at this point, okay? So we're talking just using the cold water. We're clean, and now we are soaking up any excess soap that we left behind and we are getting closer to a clean piece of fabric. Now, it's just wet, that's all it is now. But you can see that the jelly is gone. The grape jelly is gone, it is just wet. And that is an easy way to clean fabrics. And if you do know your cleaning code and you do know it's a W, please just use water, white soap, and a washcloth.